Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, wie schön sind deine Blätter. Du weißt schon, dass das, das heißt doch grün. Ja, ich grün weiß. Grün sind deine Blätter. Ja, wie grün sind deine Blätter. Thank you so much for joining us in our kitchen today. Hello. Now, we are making German Stollen for the very first time. Yeah. And you might be wondering, why are they doing this this early? Because it's still November. Uh, there's a reason behind it. After you've baked the Stollen, it has to rest for four weeks so that all the flavors can just uh, soak into it. Yeah. yeah, we got the recipe from my sister who's been using it for 35 years. Yeah, so it's a proven one. It must be good. And it sounds very easy to make. And we just thought we would share because you, I think you will like it and maybe give it a try yourself. Yeah, it already, already smells really good. It does. Let's start with the ingredients, but also make sure to check out the info box to find the entire recipe. You need eggs, butter, sugar, vanilla sugar, plain flour, baking powder, quark, salt, almonds, hazelnuts, mixed peel, raisins, and lemon zest. Let's begin. And the recipe simply says, mix everything together. I think that sounds great. Yeah, that's easy for me. For me as well, yeah. for everyone. Yeah. And it just came to my mind regarding quark. When we moved to the UK, at first mm -hmm. I thought, we don't have quark here. Uh, then I discovered uh, that you simply have to look in other places. Yeah. In Germany, quark is next to the milk yes. in the shops. Yes. Now in the UK, quark is next to the cottage cheese because I think here it's yeah, cheese. I think it does make sense. It makes some sense, yes. And uh, it just made me laugh because some British people wrote to us and said, now they finally found quark as well. So yeah. <laughs> that was quite funny. So if you want to have quark, look next to a quarter cottage cheese. Yes. But now let's continue. Yeah. And I start with the butter and the sugar. And we also forgot to mention something because this is our very first attempt at Stollen. Yeah. We're using regular flour because, I mean, I'm not going to eat it. So you can have it all for yes. yourself. We just want to be safe. Yeah. And now take a generous amount of salt, not just a tiny pinch, because my sister said that's what makes it very nice with everything else. So this is how the dough looks now. And the only thing you have to do now is add the hazelnuts and all the other stuff into it. So. Can I have a look? Mm. Did you try it? No. Nope. Just a tiny bit? No. Nope. You have to. The recipe actually says um, use dough hooks, but I think our little machine is too weak. Yeah. And we had a big kitchen machine. How do you call it in English? KitchenAid. Ki KitchenAid. And it broke. So we need a new one. Might be something for our Christmas wish list, actually. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. It would be good. So this is like the Mrs. Crocombe way. Um, it's the um, old-fashioned way. Yeah. That looks very heavy. Yeah. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
And now comes the tricky part. So when you roll out the dough, you have to fold it in a special way. Yeah. And, um, uh, at least that's what your sister said. Yes. So you have to, I don't know if you can see that. Huh? Roll it like that. Mm -hmm. huh? So that's the big, yeah. the big section. Let, let's yeah. put it that way. Big section. Mm -hmm. And then you take the small one here. Yeah. And fold it over a bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm losing nuts. <laughs> so, and then roll it like together like this. Because that gives the typical strudel. But like the, uh, strudel. the shape strudel. The typical strudel. Yes. I hope it stays like that. It I looks don't know. like it doesn't look like it, does it? It will. So far, so good. It that looks look. good. Yeah. So what you could also use is a, in, in German, Stollen form. Yeah, a mold. A mold, yeah. But my sister doesn't have one, and we thought we would show you a recipe where you don't necessarily have to buy something. No. Apart no. from the ingredients. To us, it doesn't make any sense to buy a mold, which you only use once a year. No. And you said we will try to, well, to use a certain trick yeah, that one. might help to to keep its shape. Yeah, well, I'll show you that. Yeah, Let, let's hope it works. We haven't we haven't used the trick before. Yeah. Now what I do is I build a kind of yeah simple mold which I will put around the the dough so that it stays in its in its uh, shape. And that's tin foil. Yes, that's simple tin, tin foil. So what I'm doing is I'm simply creating a kind of simple mold or I don't know how you can call it. Yeah, I huh? would call it a, yeah, a very yeah. simple mold. Which you can put around yeah. so that, let's say, huh? The only thing that would bore me, because when it bakes, of course the stollen gets bigger, and I don't know if this is just not it is strong enough. It will be. You really think so? I don't know. Now look, yeah? isn't it looking good? Yeah? And it looks like really a genius part of German engineering now with that, <laughs> let's say, kind of cravat, how you can call it. Yeah. And now this goes into the oven at 180 degrees for around about 85 minutes. But Kirsten's sister told me that you have to, let's say, watch it because sometimes it takes only 80 minutes, sometimes it takes a bit longer. Now mm. let's see. That's a biggie. <laughs> this is the other side and as you can see it lost a bit of its shape. Now what we have to do is to melt some butter because because you need the butter, the melted butter for the stollen. And what you have to do, since the stollen is still very warm, you have to prick some holes into the stollen and then the melted butter will go in there. And now I'm just putting the butter onto the stollen. Using a brush. So that it can soak in. Mm -hmm. And it gives a kind of coating. Makes it a little bit softer probably as well. Yes. Well you have to wait a little bit longer. Behind the camera Jörg was like <laughs> and I said to him, to him, you need to wait at least three weeks. Yeah, so that's a long time. <laughs> so what you have to do now is wait for it to cool down a little bit. And then we will add icing sugar yeah. on top. Yeah. I have the most important task here. I'm only joking, of course. I need to use a lot of icing sugar. It should be 
like a really thick coat. The only thing is, I can't really have that because it's regular flour, so I'm thinking of making a gluten-free one. The stolen is now ready to be stored away. And I'm doing this by using paper and kitchen foil. Looks good. What do you think? A, a kilo? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, be careful. Yeah, a kilo. And as you've seen, it's not difficult to make, No, is it, it just takes time. It takes a bit Especially of time. Especially now, because now you have to be patient. Yeah, that's very true. And you know what? We actually think this would make a great Christmas gift. Yes. It would make a great Christmas present. It's very personal. Apart from the resting time, it's, not, it's, it's easy to make. Yeah. And I think it would be a great gift. Yeah, it so is. So, here you have an idea. Hmm. And how did, how did you grow up with, with Stollen? Now, the thing is, we bought the Stollen at the bakery because my, my grandma never, my mother, they never made Stollen, they made a, something different, a kind of bread with, packed up with nuts, with nuts and fruit and everything. It's called Früchtebrot. Früchtebrot, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I remember always that said, Stollen is really Christmas time because we got it on, let's say, when we sit, were sitting together with family, drinking coffee and being together, and that was when we had Stollen. Yeah, and the same with us. We never really made stone ourselves. We we bought it at the, at the bakery. Yeah. And but I must admit, I'm not too crazy about stone. But my favorite stone would be with uh, filled with marzipan. Yeah, with marzipan. So that would be something. Mm. So we could actually. I mean, we just wanted to, because it was our first attempt, we just yep. wanted to stick to the recipe, but we could give that a try as yes, well. Yes, because then it's got a core of marzipan. That's so mm. good. Well, if you like marzipan, of course. And also, if you don't like raisins... Just leave them out. Yeah, leave them out. And, and you know what? We actually have something else. If you don't have time, but like German... German Christmas sweets. Yeah. We have an idea. Yeah, we show you some now. Yes. Yeah. Which we bought in the UK. Yes. Now these are products we bought at Little about two weeks ago. Yeah. So we can really recommend Little because it's reasonably priced and you find German goodies. Yes, because all of these, yeah, mm -hmm. you get them maybe in a different packaging. Yes. Yeah, because then it's German. Yes. But yeah, you get them in a German shop now. And it's the, it's the same company. Yes. Yeah. My mom said. Yeah, it's like, it's it's little brand. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I think you maybe got them in, in Aldi or uh, somewhere else too. Now, these are Kirsten's absolute favorites. Yeah. 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 Uh, in German, they're called Domino Steine. Mm -hmm. So Domino. I don't yeah, know. here they call them gingerbread chocolate bites. Yes, gingerbread chocolate bites. The only thing is, these aren't gluten free. They are available gluten free, but just not at little. Yeah. And I do have a trick. I just basically bite off the top. Yeah. And you get the other half. Yes. So <laughs> that's a good. So I get the gingerbread, and she gets the rest. Yes. Actually, I, well, I do love the Domino Steiner, yeah. but I think my ultimate favorite oh. are these almonds in milk chocolate. Yes. A little bit of icing sugar on the outside, but what really makes them. They're spiced. Yes, they are spiced. So, in case you haven't tried them, I think you should. You should get some and let us know what you yeah, think. Yeah, they're really good. They are so good. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> These are Lebkuchen hearts. 
Yes. Ja? Lebkuchenherzen in Deutsch. Ja? Yes. Also dieser Lebkuchen. I don't know English translation. It's ja? so sweet. Come with in chocolate. And they've got a heart of, let's say, some marmalade or yeah, something sweet. And ja? available in... Milk chocolate and dark chocolate. The same ja? with the, by the way, the same yeah. with the... Domino yeah, I prefer the dark chocolate. Yeah, I yeah. do love milk chocolate. They're really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now here, Lebkuchen. Yeah. I love them. I simply love them. And you get them in chocolate covering and in a kind of sugar covering. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? I like? prefer the chocolate ones. Yeah. yeah. And I already had one package last week. Right. Yeah. So yes. what's, this is called Lebkuchen Lebkuchen assortment. Yes, so. it's mixed. It's mixed simply Lebkuchen, mm -hmm. and it's like w with a sugar coating. Yeah? yeah, and it's a colored coating, so it's in pink or simply chocolate or white. Yeah, yeah. and it's oh, it's really really sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love it. And as you've seen, or as you said, you had a little bit of Lebkuchen. A little bit. I had one of these. The whole thing? The whole thing, yes. Did you at least share? No, I didn't. I was very selfish last week. <laughs> because, because, well, I had um, one package of Domino Steine, well, the top, the top of it. Yeah. But then we said we need, well, that's our plan. We store, store everything away until, well... Two weeks before Christmas. No, not two weeks. But until First December. Advent. At least at, until December. Yeah, so fingers crossed. You need to hide everything. Yeah, yeah. This uh, Mr. and Mrs. Weasley huge teapot, we got it, I don't know, about three months ago. Yep, at Emma Bridgewater. At Emma Bridgewater, and it was reduced. And we thought, I mean, you can see, it's a very festive teapot. and. We're going to use it today for the very first time. And for the tea, we're going to use a marzipan tea. This has become our tradition, actually. It is from Germany. It's actually, yeah, it's from Niederegger. Yeah, Lübeck. And it's so good, very Christmassy, so it gets us into the mood. Can't wait because this is our first marzipan tea this year, <laughs> and we hope you like the video. Yeah, and you can see, to make a stall is not that, let's say, no difficult. No, I'm honestly very surprised. I, yeah. when I was talking to my sister, she just said, it's it's quite easy to make. The only thing, what she usually misses is like she misses the the point. Uh, to make it and then it's too late. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, well, we yeah. hope you found some inspiration for German Christmas sweets. Yeah. And Stollen is so traditional and so German. Yeah. And in three or four weeks, yeah. yeah, we will show you how it tastes. Yes. So, fingers crossed. And thank you so much for watching. See you again very soon. Until next time, bye. Bye bye. 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 Ich stand ja jetzt, man soll erstmal alles 
Und was heißt erstmal? Einfach alles zusammen. Ja. Wobei ich. Mit, womit, womit fängt man an jetzt? Ja, das ist es ja. Da steht einfach alles zusammen. Nee, aber. Ich ja gar nicht. Aber, aber. Und? Oh. Okay, das gibt ein Problem, mein Schatz. Da, la, la, la. Das passt aber nicht, weil jetzt bist du drauf. Na und? Gut. Nicht. Nein. Gut. Warte mal. So. Oh, warte mal. Für mich überhaupt? Nochmal, ich kann kein Englisch. Muss auch nicht, ich bin Deutsche. So, mein Gehirn ist völlig leer. Ja. Es ist leer. Mmh. Mmh, Kack. <lacht>